Microsoft Ignite was really the Microsoft Copilot Agent show with agentic everything. And while much of what has been shown off around agents is already available to get started with in BizChat, SharePoint or Copilot Studio, there were several capabilities that were highlighted, in some cases explicitly and in others implicitly as part of demos, that I'm very excited about coming to our capability to engage with agents and extend Microsoft 365 Copilot. In this video, I'm going to overview my top five upcoming features or capabilities that got shown off or mentioned at Ignite that I think will make the biggest difference to the overall experience of makers and users of these new technologies. But first, a quick introduction. My name is Nick DeCorsi. I'm the owner of Bright Ideas Agency, a digital transformation consulting company focused on helping smaller businesses get the best from AI. Check out the links below if you're interested in learning more about me or my services. Right now, if you head over to BizChat, you see your agents on the right. But if you've built new agents in SharePoint or you've created a custom agent, maybe one with triggers to be an autonomous agent in Copilot Studio, they aren't showing up here. This leads to a bit of an inconsistent experience, as thinking of this as a space for declarative agents but everything else lives elsewhere is somewhat confusing and frankly, is inefficient for users. But don't despair, this isn't a long-term choice to have divergent paths for different types of agents. Throughout many demos at Ignite, we saw different types of agents being directly interacted with in BizChat. And while I didn't hear this called out often as an upcoming capability, at at least one breakout, it was mentioned that at least for custom agents, integration into BizChat is something we can expect very soon. In my mind, this cannot come soon enough, as being able to deliver agents as a singular concept to users while having powerful differentiated abilities, depending on how you choose to build them on the back end, is where we want to be. Eventually, just as the Microsoft 365 Copilot sidecars have become more consistent in their ability across apps, I would expect the intention is to make the experience of using agents more universally consistent too. One of the big sticking points for the pre-agents co-pilot extensibility capabilities was that the list of plugins and extensions you had to turn on and off for different features could get unwieldy pretty quickly. And by making agents a wrapper for potentially many different capabilities in each one, the new approach certainly reduces its complexity. But it doesn't eliminate it. There's the potential you could have dozens of agents available to you, and the basic problem of remembering which does what and using it at the right time remains very real. In the day one keynote, a capability was mentioned that I didn't see show up again throughout the conference, and it was this. It's been a while since I've met with this customer, and of course I want to put my best foot forward and understand where they're at. Copilot points me to the sales agent, which surfaces all of the details that I need. What's implied here is that the Microsoft 365 Copilot Orchestrator will have knowledge of the capabilities of agents and understand when a specific agent is more able to deliver the user's intent than it is, then recommending an alternative agent. What's the scope of this? I have no idea. Potentially, it could be something that is possible only with the agents connected to Dynamics 365 or perhaps to Microsoft's first party agents. Or maybe this will be a general capability where Copilot will maintain a broad understanding of the purposes of agents it has access to based on their descriptions. What I do know is that I can imagine many organizations ending up with a complex ensemble of agents, and for average end users just being given access to these as tools, having Copilot do the heavy lifting of suggesting the agent with the best fit would be a really neat approach to this. Before we look at upcoming feature three, if this overview is valuable to you, please do give it a like to help you get in front of more interested people. Also, if you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. You might have already seen agents turn up in your Microsoft 365 apps. I think right now this is limited to Word and PowerPoint, but I fully expect that in the future, anywhere we see a Copilot sidecar will also have access to agents. 
However, in my experience so far at least, these have limited context. I might be able to open a declarative agent I've built in Word, but that declarative agent cannot see the content inside my document, nor can it neatly interact with it to, for example, make edits to make it compliant with some sort of company standard the agent is designed for. However, this appears to be something that is going to change. In the Ignite Breakout Developer's Guide to Building Your Own Agents, examples of agents in the Microsoft 365 apps were shown with contextual capabilities to be able to reference the content outside of the Copilot sidecar and be able to insert content directly from the dialogue with the agent into your work. Again, it isn't entirely clear what the scope of this is going to be. Is this going to be simply if you create a custom engine agent, you'll be able to do things like this? Or will we see these capabilities come to custom agents we'll create in Copilot Studio, or even declarative agents that we're able to build with the agent builder experience in BizChat? Only time will tell. Some of the feature footage I've shown in this video has been from Ignite session recordings. And as of recording this video, the on-demand version of the breakout I've been referencing for this feature hasn't been published. So I'll put a link to the page below so you can go and seek it out yourself. At the heart of pretty much any agent is data, whether that's data that's comprised the AI model's underlying training, or stuff off the web, or documents from SharePoint. However, we are, or have been, somewhat limited in the types of data sources we can use, and then truly understanding how agents are then using that data to meet our needs. With the addition of new capabilities like getting data directly from Dataverse, upcoming integrations of Fabric, or connections to Azure AI Search or Azure SQL, we are gaining massively more flexibility in curating what an agent can see. SharePoint sources are great, but these are always going to be a subset of what Microsoft 365 Copilot can already see. And sometimes we do need distinct data sources or even different approaches to indexing and retrieval to get the agent exactly the information we think would be best to respond to a request. And to some extent, that data retrieval itself has been a bit of a black box. But for custom agents in Copilot Studio at least, we have coming a knowledge curation capability that will give us far more granular control on understanding what knowledge agents are missing. We are now giving you tools to improve your agent by bringing knowledge analytics right here within the knowledge page. With these insights, I'm able to see how often my knowledge is being used, the error rate, and track its answer rate. There looks to be an opportunity to improve the answer rate, and I can use the suggestions from the curator to see exactly how to do this. This really looks like a fascinating set of features to help us dial in the capabilities of custom agents in a more managed way. With so much going on in the world of productivity AI, working out how to get the best from this technology can be both time consuming and confusing. I help businesses like yours with their co-pilot adoption journey from advisory help on the selection of the right AI tools, to technical advice with their implementation, to leadership and end user training, and support with extending its capabilities across your operations. Whether you're just thinking about which AI solution to choose, or if you're already in the midst of using Copilot, I will help you maximize your return from your investment in AI technology. Check out the links down below and get in touch to start working with me. Copilot Studio has a somewhat odd licensing structure. You buy it as a shared resource with up to 25,000 messages costing a minimum of $200 per month. In comparison to many other products in Power Platform or elsewhere, this is a fairly steep cliff to get started with, particularly for many smaller businesses where an extra $2,400 per year represents a good chunk of IT licensing spend. But Microsoft really wants us to use these capabilities, and to that end, it has announced that it's making a licensing change to bring pay-as-you-go billing through an Azure subscription to Copilot Studio. This brings consistency to Copilot Studio as part of Power Platform, as a pay-as-you-go option is common across those products, 
and hopefully means that for businesses where the starting pace on custom agents makes a $200 a month commitment look like a questionable deal, pay as you go will enable them to gain some benefit and start slowly, particularly when hitting the limits of declarative agents and stepping up to custom agents. Over the course of the last year, I've worked with a good number of clients on Microsoft 365 Copilot and heard feedback on it from many others. It's my belief that with the addition of Copilot agents, Microsoft has finally launched an extensibility capability for Copilot that pretty much mitigates what I've seen as the biggest pool of complaints about its product. We can flexibly create capabilities that scope on specific data, alter Copilot's default capabilities, and act on other services. They are also easy to use and have a very shallow incline on their ramp to get started. I'm particularly enthusiastic about starting to work with some of my smaller business clients on agents, as I already have in mind dozens of processes across a variety of businesses I've been working with where I firmly believe these new tools would start to deliver a return in weeks if not days. Are you as excited as me? Have you tried these yet? And are these upcoming features the ones you think are most important to the long-term potential of agents? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching through to the end. Until the next video, bye bye.